Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. In today's episode, we are bringing you top interview question and answers on Git. Git has become an integral part of all projects in all almost all companies. So if you are going for an interview, they are bound to ask you questions on Git. And this tutorial will help you answer all the questions that any interviewer may ask you. So make sure you go through the entire tutorial and if you have any doubts or queries, ask me in the question in the comment section below and I will be happy to help you for free. Before we get started with the tutorial, I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Let's get started with top interview question and answers on Git. So the first question that is obvious and that is often asked is, what is Git? Why do you use it? So Git is a distributed version control system which allows you to track changes to files and even let them allow you to revert it back. So this way when you are working on on multiple distributed team members, it's easy to track everybody's work and see the progress and control versions of the code that is being checked in. The Git can be used in small and large projects and it's very efficient and helps you in speeding up the process. So Git is recommended that it, 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 it's a collaboration friendly. It helps you when you have multiple developers on team. It helps you for network performance. And since it, it is highly uh, available, the data is not duplicated, the code is not duplicated, and it also helps in maintaining and tracking the progress of work. So make sure you, you go through this question really well because it is definitely going to be asked. The next question is, what are git stash and git stash drop? So git stash, it takes the current state of working directory and pushes it into the stack for later and returns you a clean working directory. Whereas git, git stash drop, when you are done and want to eliminate the stashed item from the list, then you run git stash drop command. It's not encouraged to use git stash drop often. Instead, we'll always use git stash. The next question is, can you, can you name some of the git commands that you have used or in your projects? So this is to see that are you comfortable working with the git versions, git commands? So those are the questions that you will definitely get asked. So some of the commands that you can mention them is, git diff which is to show the difference between two commits git status git log git add git reset git checkout git east tree so these commands i'll cover it in separate uh, tutorial altogether for now just understand that these are the different commands that are used in git the next question is what is a git commit how does the commit object contain what does the commit object contain so a git commit is a command that is executed in course of a project to record progress. So whenever we write git commit, we are adding or pushing our changes to the re local repo or to the when you push it to a branch, it becomes committed into the branch. The commit object contains three things. All the files that have got modified, reference to the parent commit and an SHAI name, which is a 40 character string which is used to uniquely identify a particular commit. The next question is, what is a repository? How will you create it? So this is an again interesting question because they want to see how you are going to tackle it. So you can say that I have created a repo on UI. I, we have a repo of backend, you know, so this, this is a good example and a good question to get the interviewer groomed in a way what projects you have worked upon. So you can say that uh, you know what is a Git repository. So you create a repository where the starting or the skeleton project is started to which all developers will commit the code. How do you create it? You can always create it. Actually, most of these are done by your admins, but if you are asked, you can always go into stash and create a repository. What is Git bisect? And what is the its purpose? So git bisect command is used to find the commit that has introduced a bug by using binary search. So purpose of git bisect 
the command uses a binary search algorithm to find which commit in the project's history has introduced a bug. Before the bug is introduced into the commit, the commit is referred as good commit. And after the introduction of the bug, the particular commit is called as a bad commit. And then we use git bisect to figure out how and where the bug was introduced. <coughs> what is the purpose of branching? How many branching strategies can you apply? So this is again a good question to see your knowledge on how your projects are arranged. So make sure you understand this very well. The branching in Git is done to allow the user to create their own branch, toggle between those branches, often called as feature branches also. It will allow the user to go to previous work, keeping the current work intact. So some of the branches, branching strategies are, you can, we can do feature branching, which is where your user stories, you create one feature branch per user story. Then you have task-based branching also that you can apply. And then we have finally the release branching. So whenever you know that you have got sufficient or enough features to be released, we can always create a new release and create a release branch for it so that that code is pushed. The next question is, what is a conflict in Git and how is it resolved? So take an example. There are two developers who are trying to push some changes on the same file, right? So whenever someone commits, and the other developer is trying to commit the same file or with same similar overlapping changes, he will get a conflict error. It will say there is a conflict in your code. How do we resolve it? So we have to look, either you can accept the incoming changes or you have to manually take the file and then compare it and retain the changes that you want in that file. So that is uh, the, the way to resolve the conflicts. So the best way to avoid is always do a git pull uh, that helps you in pulling the latest code. That way you don't have enough conflicts. Even if you have, it's easy to resolve. Why git and why not SVN? So git is an open source version control system that allows the use user to run version of a project. So git is more controlled. It has much more features, more advanced than SVN and also, it helps you. Um, it's much better in terms of how you can overall uh, adapt across different projects in your company. So that's why Git is preferred and not SVN, which is subversion. So what commands will you use to bring a new feature to the main branch? So, so whenever you want to pull something, we'll either do a git pull command or git merge. So that way you can bring in the new changes into the main branch. Distinguish between git fetch and git pull. So git fetch, it downloads only the new data from remote repository. Does not integrate any of the downloaded data into your working files. Git pull, whereas will bring the latest data as well as merge it into your local repo working copies. So it's important whenever you do git fetch, it will only get data from remote repository, but will not integrate any of the downloaded data. Whereas git pull, will download the data as well as it will merge into your local working files. What is sub git and why is it used? Sub git is a tool for smooth and stress free subversion to git migration. Subversion to git migration and as also a solution for the company wide. So it's a tool basically uh, which is used to if you have existing code which is in subversion and you want to move it to git. So sub git will help you do that. What is rebasing syntax in git? So whenever we say we are trying to rebase, which means we are trying to get the data from the late, latest from the repo into our local repo. So the way to do it is git rebase and give the new name that is new commit name. It would, it would do a rebase of the new commit. All right, what is git reflog? So git holds a record of updates to the apex of branches employing a mechanism described as reference logs, which is also known as reflogs. So whenever we execute any of the git things, 
it always maintains the references and the history audit trail. So using that, that is called as ref logs and it's usually done whenever we do git checkout, git reset, git merge, etc. All right, so what is a git push? So a git push command is applied to whenever you want to send or upload your local copy changes files to the main uh, report repository, we'll do a git push. So whenever you push, you are assigning your commits from local to the remote branch, to the repo. All right, so that brings us to the end of this tutorial. We have a lot more tutorials and question answers coming on Git. Stay tuned for that. Uh, let me know what you find useful, what you want me to cover more. I'll be happy to cover those. If you have any doubts and queries, drop in them in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Thank you so much for joining today. I'll see you in the next episode.